Hi hey everyone, Matt from SunRolling.com. Uh, just going to take you through the system menu of the 633. Uh, so we have a uh, slate mic option, and do we ever want the slate mic to actually work? Yes or no? On or off? Uh, I usually keep it on, so I can leave slates and notes, um, and you can actually change where you root the tone, which is obviously your lineup tone, uh, which we'll show you how to set in a sec. Um, and you can root where you want to put your uh, slate mic. So maybe you want to put it on uh, channel 6 and just have that as a general note taking throughout. So it never goes onto your actual mix tracks for camera, for instance. It's a really handy feature. Uh, same with the tone. Maybe you don't need to line up tone to one of your outputs. Uh, although anything with your output, I reckon that you should probably line it all up with the tone so they can have an easier time in post, maybe. Um, if they need to go back to different rushes. Uh, you have your tone level. I mean, usually it's set to zero dBU, which is minus 20 on a digital scale. Uh, and it's usually one kilohertz, which is 1,000 hertz. You can set that arbitrarily to anything else if you want. Uh, I have it on continuous. Uh, you can also do just the left ident. Uh, and I think, wait, let me check. You can also, if you just do hold, is it this button? What is it, I wonder? Yeah, so there's also a shortcut so you can pulse on the, let me change that. So you can pulse on the left hand side with the tone. So normal line up tone, and then if it goes with the green light then it'll stay continuous, and if you press uh, the select which one's this? Yeah, select button. Select button and tone. Then we'll actually pulse on the left side so you can tell which of your XLRs is your left and which is your right, which is a really handy feature for obviously not getting all your cables mixed up. Um, so sorry, where were we? Yes, back into the system menu. Um, so yeah, yeah, your tone as well. Uh, yeah, zero, zero, continuous. Uh, warning bell level. Um, this is for if your headphones are too loud, I think, um, or if generally there's any problems going on. Um, that's just how loud the bell will be. Um, records uh, or stop bell, that's really good to have on just to give you an audio cue that you're actually recording or you've actually stopped. Um, I do both peak and VU meters just because you may as well have both meters because VU is more general um, intensity whereas a peak is the actual highest part of a wave. So for instance, if you're using, um, so a click uh, won't be very high on VU, but it'll be very high on peak because the actual pressure of the is very high, but the intensity of it isn't gonna blow you away. Um, meter peak hold time, I have this on off because you wanna just constantly see what's going on. Um, you can get it to pause, so if it hits like, I don't know, uh, 12, then it can hold there for three seconds, obviously while it's still metering in the background. So it'll always give you the highest one. Uh, you can have it on infinity, which seems a bit overkill, um, but that's just because I have no use for that. Uh, meter displays, uh, you can choose segmented or solid. I kind of like the look of solid, kind of better than segmented. Uh, put back the mic on. I mean, solid's kind of better. Um, oh, and this is your VU, so this is the solid bit, and this bit is your peak, so you can tell the difference there. So if I do the click, not actually that much, but it's quite high, whereas my voice is rather closer, because it's quite intense, very intense, um, but the peak is kind of the same. Uh, yeah, so back to the system menu. Um, and now we go into metering ballistics. Yeah, we did that already. Um, need to be cold. Yeah, we turned it solid. Uh, track names. Track names are really handy, I find. You can have them on the right. You can have them with a little uh, indent. So they're kind of slightly more in the center middle. Uh, or you can have them off if you get distracted by that kind of thing. Um, I generally have it uh, left. It's quite easy to see. Uh, meter views. Now there's a billion different ways of... Uh, well, not a billion different ways, four different ways of customizing your menu view. Sorry, I forgot that we're on a 633, not a 664. Um, 
so yeah, so these are your all of your different views, um, and you can kind of if you set any to off, then obviously your toggle will just go around the ones that are actually selected. Um, so on here we have two different ones: one showing all six tracks in a mix, and one showing uh, your returns and your outputs and uh, your left and right. So yes, so you can have fun with that. Uh, and now we go to what is it? Meter views, yep. General brightness, LED, that's an LED for instance. Uh, an LCD, this is the screen brightness. You probably need that 100% all the time. If you want a shortcut to change, uh, I think that's going to screw it up. This is um, kind of daylight mode. So you just press select and headphone, um, and you can change in between. Uh, generally easier sometimes. I mean, generally, I think they get pretty blown out in direct sunlight anyway, I find, but. Usually personal preference. Um, time format, so you can choose if you're a 12 hour clock or 24 hour type of guy. Uh, same with days and months. I personally do days and months. I know a lot of the US do months and days in their writing. And you can set that uh, time of day, your time zone, whether it's daylight savings. Um, you can calibrate your, fan, the, your pan uh, and your fade. So you can check that your faders are actually lined up. Uh, it'll give you instructions on how to do that. Uh, and you can choose which way around the head headphone uh, button will uh, work in terms of will it give you presets first by scrolling or will it give you volume first. So we're on preset slash volume. So it'll give me presets. As you can see here, if I scroll and if I click, then I can scroll and have my headphone volume. So obviously the same is true if you do the other way around. Um, so I generally have, I'm generally not changing my volume that much. So I usually have presets first. Um, you have the preset list. So these are all the different things that you can activate or take away. So if you never use, for instance, um, uh, left and right uh, mid side stereo, uh, then you can deselect that option and it will never come up. So you don't have to scroll too much. Uh, you can choose what your USB port is for. Um, usually it's going to be for keyboard because you're not going to do factory tests. Here it is, it's the uh, D type, I believe, which is a printer type one. Um, and you'll get a, a kind of adapter. You need a female, no, a male adapter, so male to male adapter to then plug a keyboard into that. Um, so that's that. Short code info. So these are all your short codes. Uh, so meter and select is for arming a track. Uh, and then here's more. So you can find these obviously in the device. I won't go through them all because again they kind of explain what they are, but HP is headphone. Uh, RTN is return, uh, menu is here, select is here, you see arm, those two together, file, those two together. Um, what else do we have that's maybe not so obvious? Uh, uh, phase is headphone and uh, fave. Uh, and then we have version info and then we, if you have uh, to update the firmware, what you do is you get your SD card or your CF, uh, you put in the zip file, uh, or I think it's open, put in the zip file, and then you do it from here, and it'll find it for you, and then it'll open it, extract it, update it for you, and make things really easy. Right, well, thank you for the nine minutes of your time. Um, let me know if you have any questions, comments. Again, I try and make this as simple and as quick as possible, just for your own ease and general life. So. Subscribe and see you later.